Hey, so what's your favorite new gen anime? You know, Black Clover at the moment is really heat. I think I'll have to go with Black Clover. Damn, good choice. I really like Jujutsu Kaisen because it's so good, man. Like season 1 was fire. Dang, yeah, that's true. You know, I really like My Hero Academia. Really an amazing show if you ask me. Mine is Boruto because the newer stuff really is great if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, that's fair, great choice. My favorite one is Demon Slayer. Oh my god, are you serious? That's such a stupid show. Yeah, right. Demon Slayer is only good because of the animation. You are such a normie. It's shaking my head. Hey, what the fuck? This man literally said Boruto and I'm getting made fun of? Does this seem relatable to you? Maybe you are one of those people saying Demon Slayer is a mid show. In that case, go fuck yourself. I think out of the anime I just named, Demon Slayer is the best. And I am very confused to why people disagree on this. This video resolves around me trying to explain why I think Demon Slayer is the actual best anime. By the way, I'm saying anime, not manga. Huge difference out of the new big three. Don't worry, I wasn't gonna claim Demon Slayer as the best anime of all time. Only those I listed here, minus Boruto, because I didn't even see Naruto. So the anime I will be talking about is Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, My Hero and of course Demon Slayer. Point 1. The animation. Oh my god. He just proved it himself. Demon Slayer is only getting carried by animation. What a stupid video. I should dislike. No, no, shut the fuck up. Oh, and like the video and subscribe for more, by the way. But I just wanted to get this out of the way because so many seem to actually blame Demon Slayer for its amazing animation. Like what? Out of all these four anime, Demon Slayer has the best animation and it's not even close. Jujutsu Kaisen is the closest, I would say. But Demon Slayer is still like miles better, especially with season 2. So what's my point here? Okay, let's read what all this media is what we are consuming. Anime, hmm, sounds like animation for me. Well, if the media even is literally called animation, why the fuck does no one seem to care admitting that animation actually is a valid point on how to judge anime? I'm not saying it's the most important thing to judge, but at the same time, Animation and art style. The art style of Demon Slayer is the best out of the four as well, but that's a bit more subjective. Those animation and art style are literally what you have to see the entire time you will watch an anime. But looks don't matter. Looks don't matter my ass. Whoever says looks don't matter is capping hard. A good anime needs at least solid animation first to make you want to watch it and a great plot to keep you watching. I'm not saying Black Clover or My Hero Academia have terrible animation. Of course the animation is worse, but still good since they have way more episodes. But that doesn't change the fact that your watching experience is so good while watching Demon Slayer. So yes, animation lifts the opinion of the anime like it should, when it's awesome. And there is nothing wrong with that. Point 2. The story. Now we are entering dangerous territory. If you are expecting me to try convincing you why Demon Slayer's story has actually the greatest plot in all of anime, I'm sorry, I won't. But I will ask you that. So what? Like genuinely, so fucking what? Yes, Demon Slayer has an ordinary story, but you're gonna act like Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen and My Hero do have great stories? The story of Demon Slayer is simple. but simple doesn't mean bad. Sure, it's a simple concept, but an anime doesn't need the greatest story of all time to be considered good. That's why there are the ratings 9 out of 10 or even 10 out of 10. Demon Slayer is an 8 out of 10. It shouldn't be required to have a One Piece like story to be an 8 out of 10. You elitist fucks. If you so much care for writing and story, go read Goethe or some shit. Like these the same people to rank some shit like Bunny Girl Senpai higher than Demon Slayer because its writing was so clever. Yeah, maybe, but it was still more boring and less enjoyable. And also, Bunny Girl Senpai was stupid. Like, why did this man have to solve literal space-time disturbances every week? And why was the solution always to go to that one smart girl in high school? Dude, this isn't ninth grade math. You are literally prisoned in a time loop. What is she gonna do? Anyways, I digress. Sure, Demon Slayer has unoriginal writing, but you could literally place faces of the Jujutsu Kaisen cast on the Bleach manga and nobody would notice. And I hear nobody talking about that as much as people shit on Demon Slayer. And I don't care about the manga, we are talking about the anime solely. Same goes for Black Clover and My Hero, by the way. All of them are just weird bastard childs between Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Dragon Ball and some other anime. Like, you can put your finger on it immediately on the similarities, right, of those animes. Like, for example, royal girl whose family is ashamed of her being with the heroes. We had that in Bleach. This whole squad basically is Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura and Kakashi. Yo, 
isn't this the literal child from Naruto and so on. With Demon Slayer, at least you can't put your finger on it immediately. Sure, the characters and stories are still generic, but at least there are moments you can think of in an instant and be like, yo, they actually copied? Sorry, they heavily got inspired from, as the new kids like to call it, this from the other moment of this other show. At least I couldn't think of any and I also asked people who also couldn't come up with any, so suck it. Point 3, the cast. Okay, so what's important in a cast? Is it how cool they look? Is it how cool their attacks are? Is it their writing? Is it their uniqueness? Well, it's actually all of it combined. Is the Demon Slayer cast written amazingly? Not really. I'd still say they are written solidly. Like Tanjiro with his kindness and purity, Inosuke goes through some character development from season 1 to season 2 and becoming a nicer guy. And Zenitsu, well we saw only few of Zenitsu, which isn't either just cool his sword is thunder or him being a simp, but I'm sure we will get more of it, right? Right? Anyways, the cast is written solidly. This isn't some death note kind of shit, it's still a normal shonen. The only anime with a better written cast, in my opinion, would be Jujutsu Kaisen from this list. Not an anime in general. My hero tries pretending having a good written cast, but Bakugo, Deku and Todoroki are stupid. Deku is the literal definition of a cliché protagonist and don't disrespect Tanjiro. Yes, he might be generic, but he isn't as generic as Asta and Deku. Tanjiro doesn't want to be the best at whatever and he is actually not totally naive nor is he a crybaby, he's just genuinely a nice guy. That's also an important point, the likability of the cast. As I said, Tanjiro is a nice guy and most people like nice guys. Zenitsu is cool and most people like cool dudes. In contrast, we have Asta who is mad annoying in the anime with his voice, him always being the loudest guy in the room, no matter what. Deku is a crybaby while he has like few reasons to be one. If a crybaby is done well, I quite like it. Like for example Takemichi is also a crybaby, but unlike Deku, he actually doesn't have the most OP power in his universe. It's not like I hate Deku all the time though, like sometimes he can be a cool character, you know, unlike some other annoying motherfucker, but all in all Tanjiro is just more likable. And yes, this is probably totally subjective but tell me Tanjiro isn't at least your second most likable character on the list. I dare you to write it into the comments. No, actually write something into the comments and help me push the algorithm if you don't want to kill me after that. Okay, point four, moving on, the music. Okay, this is the most subjective thing, so I'll keep it short. The music in Demon Slayer is amazing. Sure, it's no Attack on Titan, but still top 15 OSTs of all time. And I'm reading that Demon Slayer gets carried by animation so much, but why does no one talk about the music? Like that scene in episode 19 would have been not even half as good without the music. The music actually made people cry over Tanjiro beating a villain. Not a death or anything, just him beating a guy. Well, I mean the villain kinda died, but you get what I'm saying. Also, a quick side note, this is all subjective and so is mainly everything about your own taste in anime. Many people like to shit on Demon Slayer, but for me, I really like it because it made me feel things and I feel like we tend to forget that despite of its importance, anime is supposed to make you feel emotions. Don't let the elitists on Twitter or YouTube tell you which great plotted show you have to like. Don't let me tell you what show you have to like. I shit it on some shows, but if it made you feel emotions or even if it didn't, it's your own taste. Don't let anyone tell you what you are supposed to like and what you are not supposed to like, for whatever reason. Demon Slayer is in my top 15, because with the delivery of its basic story, with the help of music and animation, it made me feel hyped, emotional and all that kind of stuff. Don't be like elitist twats on Twitter trying to tell everyone what they are supposed to be liking. Just enjoy things you enjoy. It's as easy as that. Okay, that's it though. Don't know how long this video already is, so if you still think Demon Slayer sucks, no it doesn't, your mom sucks, but like for real. Is it getting carried by animation? Well, the show is made better by animation, but honestly the animation would carry every anime. So in my opinion, when a solid story and cast like 7 out of 10 meets 10 out of 10 animation and music, Demon Slayer becomes an 8 out of 10, which is better than Black Clover My Hero in Jujutsu Kaisen first season. I heard many good things about the second season of Jujutsu Kaisen though, so let's see how that goes. Anyways, that's the end of the video, my voice is fucking gone and stop harassing Goat Slayer, bye!